What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl, and today we have a lot to discuss. I missed a few days. I had to work, and tomorrow I'm going to be busy, so let me, I just said, let's come in here and let's talk about everything that I missed. So get you some snacks, get you a couple of drinks or so, whatever you drink, water, juice, a cocktail. You know, it's 5 o'clock somewhere in this world. So if you want to do all that, go ahead and hit the play button because we're about to get into everything, okay? We're going to talk about TJ Holmes and his first wife divorce. And then we're going to carry on into Miss Whoopi Goldberg and then Wendy Williams. Oh, yeah, because I've been reading a lot that's been going on this internet, okay? We're not going to talk about the Grammys right yet because, honey, I don't watch the Grammys, but I've seen pictures of what was going on. And I said, "Mm -mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. That's going to be it for another time. But anyway, so inside the divorce of T.J. Holmes and his first wife, Amy Ferson, okay. Now, before I get really deep into that, I noticed T.J. had a type, okay. Because you're going to see in this commentary, her picture, okay. You're going to see Mara Lee. You're going to see Natasha Singh and Jasmine Pewe. These women are beautiful, number one, okay? But they kind of resemble each other. They don't look alike, but they favor in some type of way. And it makes you feel like, okay, he has a type. So where does Amy Robot come into all of this? And maybe that's why he likes Amy, because she's different? Or is the bag just bigger? We don't know yet. But let's go ahead and get into the divorce with um TJ and Miss Amy Ferson. Okay, so we all know, listen, TJ, he's well acquainted with divorce because he's going to get divorced from Marilee Feibig, okay? So his first wife, um, I think this is the one he had, yeah, he has two children with her, Brianna and Jaden. Okay, <clears throat> it says here that he is well acquainted with the process after his former wife filed for divorce from him back in March of 2007, according to the documents, and this was obtained by the son. Okay, so we wanted to see what they're talking about. Now, in Ferson's divorce complaint, she alleged that their marriage was irretrievable, excuse me, irretrievably broken, and there would be no reasonable hope for reconciliation. So, irretrievably broken and there's no hope for reconciliation hmm that's what she said on that divorce complaint now in her filing she said they separated in october of 2006 shortly after they have moved to georgia their separation began the same month tj got his first major career break when he joined the ranks at cnn as an anchor and correspondent. He was previously working at the local news station KNTV in San Francisco. In her divorce, Ferson demanded alimony support as she claimed she earns insufficient funds for support. Now it reads, the plaintiff is dependent upon the defendant for her temporary and permanent support and maintenance. In the divorce, both TJ and Ferson state they have no children born of their marriage and are not expecting any. Both TJ and Amy Ferson agree to the judge order that neither will do any threatening, injuring, maltreating, um, vilifying, harassing, you know, the adverse party as a result of the, the divorce. So they can't be going back and forth, you know, bashing each other and all that kind of stuff. The couple entered into a settlement agreement, which provided costly for TJ. Well, it was very costly for him at the time because, you know, he was just getting his break, um, you know, with, with, the, with CNN. So, but he was working for a station in San Francisco. So he had some, some money coming in. And I'm, I'm not sure how much money he had coming in, but he had some coming in. Now, Ferson was awarded monthly alimony payments of $2,000 over the course of three years. So three years from the time of their divorce, she would, she would have been getting, she was getting $2,000, right? 
She was also given $25,000 out of their $30,000 joint savings account and had to pay the $3,500 balance of a shared credit card. TJ also was ordered to pay the remainder of her lease on her BMW, as well as provide her with an ongoing health care through his employer over the course of several years. Listen, when when the old folks say it's cheaper to keep her, it really is. Behave yourself and, and, and keep your woman. Because if you don't, you're going to be paying heavy, okay? But you know what? Some guys out here don't mind paying just so they can be free of the relationship. So, it is what it is, right? Okay, so in total, TJ's divorce from Amy Furson cost, you know, around $100,000, okay? He did, however, get to keep their home in Georgia and Furson moved back to her home state in Missouri. The divorce from Furson was finalized in June of 2007. Whew, baby. So basically, she was awarded $2,000 for the remainder of the three years. So basically, so from 2007, so her last monthly alimony payment was in 2010. Okay, she was also given $25,000 out of their $30,000 joint savings account. And he had to pay the balance of $3,500 on the shared credit card. He was also ordered to pay the her BMW um, lease, um, the remainder of that balance or her BMW lease. Okay, and he had to provide her with ongoing health care through his employer over the course of several years. So, wow. And he did get to keep his home in Georgia. Oh, baby. Let me tell you something. A voice, divorce can get really nasty, guys. It can get nasty. If you guys can't be civil on each end and say, hey, let's put everything down the middle, or you get this, you get that. When you go through these lawyers, you got to pay the lawyer fees and all types of stuff. It can get really nasty. It can. All right? Well, he's getting ready to go through another divorce because baby Marilee, Lee, she got two divorce lawyers that she hired. And for what the reports are saying, it does not look great in his favor because of all this foolishness that him and Amy were caught doing out and about while they were still married. So all of that is going to um, take place as well. Hmm. Huh. Child, it's crazy now. For what the reports are saying online, Amy Furson is a journalist as well. Okay, so she's she's doing pretty good for herself, also. So, okay, she's just she's not you know anybody just from off doing whatever. She has a career and she's a journalist as well. Okay, so that's TJ and Amy person's divorce now let's move on to amy robach okay now it has been reported you know of course her and tj are no longer at gma3 okay they're no, they're no longer anchors for gma3 but i heard or i was reading that she walked away with a better deal than tj okay and i think that's because she was there the longest she was there longer. You know, they didn't say how much or whatever she walked away from, but they did say she walked away with a better deal than TJ. And they're going as far as calling her the breadwinner in this new relationship with her and TJ. So let's go ahead and get into that. Amy Robach is the breadwinner in her new relationship with TJ Holmes, at least as far as golden parachutes go. Now, what insiders tell us that the scandalous and newly unemployed lovebirds <laughs> each got a nice severance package from ABC News after their affair blew up their jobs. But sources say Amy walked away with an even bigger settlement than her boo. 
And I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Now, the specific details of the, the settlement remain a closely guarded secret, but another insider explained, Amy's been at ABC a lot longer and has a much bigger contract than TJ, which makes sense. Okay. Amy joined the network in 2012 and Holmes, who has a lower profile there, came on board in 2014. She also pulled double, double duty co-hosting GMA3 with Holmes and also appearing on News Magazine's 2020. A role source told us she worked really hard, which, which she worked really hard to get. So you work so hard to get these things, and then here comes this affair with you and TJ, and everything just goes out the window. But it's reported she got a bigger bag than TJ. Now, the second source said it's likely that the duo just got paid what they would have been owed for the remainder of their contracts and little, if anything, more. But they said it's possible they could have gotten back, um, gotten paid slightly more to sign an NDA and to keep the peace. And that's, that also makes sense, okay? Um, because no one is suing anybody now. You notice that, right? No one is suing. TJ and Amy is not suing, but they did get a nice severance package. So that's probably why everything is keeping like close knit and being hush hush. Because baby, I think Amy she walked away with a bigger bag than TJ, and 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 rightly and rightful so. She could do that. She was there longer. She was pulling double duties around there. So of course, it's expected for her to get the bigger bag. So, I just hope their love affair was worth all of this. You get what I'm saying? I just hope it was worth it. That's all. But they seem happy because TJ was out ring shopping. Well, not only ring shopping. He was shopping a gift for Amy's birthday. She just turned 50. So, he was out there buying a gift at Tiffany's. He bought a ring and he bought a necklace, I believe. A necklace and bracelet. But um, she spent her birthday with her daughter. So... That's that, okay? Now, another thing that I want to talk about was Whoopi Goldberg. Is Whoopi Goldberg leaving The View? Because from what I've been reading online, they say that um her contract was not renewed. It was denied. So I wonder why. Is it because of all the controversy and all the stuff that she was saying on The View? Because I noticed that when a segment, what segment was that? They were talking and she made a statement saying, well, I'm already in trouble. So what does that mean? You know, and you know what? I don't think Whoopi Goldberg would miss being on The View. Honey, She's she was getting paid. She is paid. And maybe it's just her time to just, you know, chill out for a moment. Travel. Go to the beach. Sip on some margaritas and enjoy the rest of your life. But, you know, she, I also know she loves doing what she do. So, we'll see. It's just rumors. Um, I haven't seen anything confirmed. But, you just never know. Because when she said on the show that she was already in trouble, time will tell and we will only see, you know, after the smoke's clear. So, we'll see. We'll see. We will see. Now, let's talk about Wendy Williams. Honey, Calvin or Calvin, you are going to have to get a job, boo-boo. You're going to have to get a job because, um, guess what? He is not getting any pay, okay? He will not get any pay from Wendy at all. So, whatever him and Sharina got going on, they better figure something out because they were denied. Okay, so let's get into that for a second. <laughs> okay. So we know that he has been depending on those alimony checks to help pay his bills and to provide a roof over his head per the divorce settlement. The checks will continue to come as long as Wendy Williams was employed. But after the Wendy Williams show was canceled, those alimony payments, um, you know, had stopped. 
Now, this wouldn't be the first time that Hunter, Kevin Hunter, has tried to get what he feels was owed to him. So, because during, you know, an interview back in December of 2022, he tried to take credit for their success of his wife's, ex-wife's former show. Um, and no, we're not going to do that. You don't take credit for Wendy Williams. Sorry. Okay. You don't take credit for Wendy Williams. But anyway, honey, he was denied getting his alimony payments restarted. So what is he going to do now? What is Kevin Hunter about to do now? Because he has that house over there with him and Sharina. They have a baby. See, God don't like ugly. When you try to do wrong to people and when you do stuff to people, you going to get it back. And all the stuff that happened with Wendy... They not picking up his payments. No, her, his payments will not restart. So if he didn't save any of the money that he did get, that is on him. That is on him. So it's time for him to get it together and get a job. It is what it is. And so it's time for Sharina as well. But we're going to see if Sharina going to hang in there with Kevin. Because now the money has stopped. The money been stopped. But it's stopped for sure now. So let's see your homegirl going to hang in there or what she going to try to do to capitalize off this whole thing that she had going on with Mr. Kevin Hunter. Hmm. But anyway, it is what it is. Now you got to pay your own way. But anyway, guys, that's all I have for today. I will talk to you guys later. I'll be back with some more content. I really hope you enjoyed this. Please give my video a like and also hit the subscribe button. It is free. It will cost you absolutely nothing for the conversation with me. That's it. That's all. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.